My name is Nico and this is Cooking My Way and tonight a light chicken pot pie of goodness. Come find me on the web at www.cookingmyway.com. We're going to start off heating a little bit of oil inside of a Dutch oven or a heavy bottom pan. We're going to add some carrots to this and we're going to soften these up a little bit. Once those go cook for about a minute or two we're going to add a little bit of onion and a little bit of garlic to this. Although you don't see it, it did happen. Then we're going to add some mushrooms to the mix. You just want to cook those for about a minute just to soften them up just a smidge. And then we're going to add in the meat from a whole chicken. This chicken came from a rotisserie chicken that we bought at the store. This makes it easy. Here's some flour that's going in. You need it to help thicken up the stock because we're using a lighter stock. The flour helps. Again, come to www.cookingmyway.com to find the whole recipe for this. But you want to get that stirred in and cooked through a little bit. We're adding a little bit of chicken stock here. Then we're going to add a little bit of half and half. I tell you, this is a really good recipe, even though you're not using heavy cream or, a, you know, starting with a, like a bechamel, it's, it's really, really good. And it, um, I, I'm just surprised. Everybody that we've served it to has really, really liked it. Uh, here's a little bit of parsley going in. That helps brighten up the flavor a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of thyme to this as well. I just, I love thyme. It, you know, it has a nice peppery taste to me, a little herby flavor. Even though it doesn't look like these are nice bright green peas, but they look pretty gray here. But um, we're, at the very end, we're going to get some peas here, and then we're going to pour this into a baking dish. Then we're going to cover it with some puff pastry that we got from foodbuzz.com, from Petridge Farm. We're going to roll that out. You don't have to put the smiley face on here, but I think it helps. No, but really what you have to do is you need to put in a couple of chimneys on top of this. That helps the puff pastry crisp up. If you don't put the chimneys in there, it um, it kind of turns into a little bit of a mess if you ask me. I don't. I think it makes it get a nice crisper crust this way. Bake it in the oven. Take it out. Eat it. It's wonderful. This is what it looked like. It really is a good dish. I hope you give this one a try. Again, come find us on the web at www.cookingmyway.com and y'all have fun out there.